I love architecture and I love beautiful houses and I always think I'm gonna redo my house, which I don't ever, but I'm always collecting Pinterest and ideas and I came along this house on this street. I thought this is my dream house, it's so beautiful. So of course I knock on the door to see who the architect is for this house. And the husband says, oh, well, it's my wife. So she came to the door, the sweetest person in the world, Kelly, that you're gonna meet in a second. And uh, we become sort of uh, email friends and she's been generous enough today to let us in. And you guys are gonna see it as I'm seeing it. I really wanna get in here and see it anyway, so I'm really excited about this. But um, anyway, you're gonna love her. And uh, so come along, we're gonna go look at this house. So this is the most beautiful house. It's a historic, I, I should have looked at the little sign, but maybe she'll tell us, I'm sure she knows, what year this was built. But I actually, and I told her this too, when I, um, I had seen this house when it was for sale many years ago, and it was an older gentleman that lived here, and the place was crazy, um, um, sort of hoarder situation, and he wanted a ton of money at the time. I think he came down after the years went by, but uh, the whole backyard that you'll see this beautiful barn now was a million cars and junk and stuff. So she was brave enough and had the vision. And this place, I would live here in a heartbeat. My dream house. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. I hope you're welcome. Welcome. Your dog. Thank you. This is Emmett. Oh my God, he's so Say excited. Hey. Oh, it's oh, it's very excited. Hi. As I am. Uh, so I'm so, <laughs> so excited. Nice to see you yes, again. I'm so excited to come in. There's so <laughs> many things to see. I, I just gave a little. Uh, intro to tell everybody that of how I had seen it, knocked on your door, mm -hmm. and, um, and you how saw I had it saw it before. Before, 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 before you even start, is the store original? The door is not original to the house. Gorgeous. The original door to the house was in the barn, but it's at least fifty years old. Yes, it's gorgeous. And yeah. the screen was every oh the no the screen door was here, and I think that was original. But mm -hmm. I had it rescreened. Right, right. You have to re you have to do everything. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it was a dump. It was a dump. It wasn't even inhabitable, really. I mean, the guy lived here, but it was yeah. really, really Well, bad. he was an epic hoarder. That's why I just said he was And it was like Fred Sanford had decorated the backyard. <laughs> it was like That's true. cinder blocks and cars That's and right. rusty things and metal just strewn everywhere. I, know, I think when I saw the, um, the open house when he owned it, I mean, not only was there... I mean, I'm trying to remember, but upstairs it was just sort of this open bathroom. Like, it wasn't really a bathroom, right? Yeah. It was like plywood. With yeah, sort of he toilet. had taken the bathroom apart 35 years ago. And so it was subfloor, and, uh, and then it, he, there was the cloth of tub, which was original, right, that's and cool. a sink that was original, and so we had that, those both refurbished. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was, he would start a project and then just stop it, or years sort of ago. water bug over to something else, right. and so it just never got done, and he had what we affectionately, or not so affectionately called the little man, the little old man bathroom down uh -huh. here, uh -huh. uh, with the grout that I swore moved, and that was, the bathroom he used wow. for all the time, so he didn't use any right. of the How other many years rooms. did he live here, do you know? 50. 50, isn't that great? Yeah. All right, so why don't you um, walk us through and let's see okay. some cool things. So, so I drove up to what was this saffron, yes. right. mustard, right. all sort of right. different color yellows, right. the house, and I came in right here, and I just felt something about this house. Mm -hmm. And it took forever, mm -hmm. like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. to, even, to even own it? Yes, because he didn't want to really spell it, and then he didn't, wasn't sure if he liked us. I was baking cookies and dropping them through the milk uh, delivery door, mm -hmm. and I was trying to woo this little old man. He was 84, I think, at the time. And then eventually we, we got on pretty well and had a nice relationship. He knew we were going to respect the house. I did the whole write him a letter thing mm -hmm. and everything, and he told me he was saving the letter. It was so very sweet. And, um, but then he wouldn't get movers and we were in escrow for 10 months wow. and he moved everything in his broken down VW mm -hmm. van mm -hmm. to Lake Tahoe. Wow. Trip by trip. Right. Wow. That was taken forever. Yeah. We were like, well, we'll get movers yeah, for yes, you. Right. And he was well, like, yeah. no, no, no. I must look at everything. Right. And I should have been tipped off. We negotiate. We wouldn't deal with the real estate agents. It was just he and I, but they could mm -hmm. be in the room. Mm -hmm. We negotiated the deal. In here, mm -hmm. he trusted you. It trusted me, mm -hmm. and then he made us Harvey wall bangers. Mm -hmm. I swear, I've never point? had a Harvey yeah, wall yeah. banger. Yeah. I was like, good thing I didn't have it before. Right, I would have right. paid a lot more for the house. Right. Right, right, right. Uh, right. I was right. like, whoa. And he and I should have been tipped off because the first thing he said was, we ended up giving him ninety days for escrow. Mm -hmm. Right, usually it's like thirty. Right. And he said, okay, I'm gonna get right on it. I'm gonna load up all my expired magazines that I've dog-eared and I'm gonna drive them up to my storage oh, wow. unit. And I thought, it's gonna take a while. This can take a while. Right. <laughs> I actually bought a house once and it was a, kind of the same situation. A single man lived there and a bit of a hoarder. 
And at, uh, he told my real estate person in the middle of escrow, you know, I'm just kind of tired of packing. Yeah. And I think yeah. I'd like to just leave. And so we said, uh, sure, because we had the same boat. We right. really wanted this house. It was like he was in the middle of his breakfast eating the toast. And he walked his dog out and the gate shut and he couldn't get back in. There was, I mean, that like from the bed he slept in, there was like uh, tissues in just oh, the stop. throw to miss the trash can oh, spot. You know, goodness. millions of pairs of shoes. It, it really, I, mean, I have to say, it cost me a gazillion oh, dollars no. to and get his really? stuff to the Goodwill yeah. and everything. Yeah. Did, you, now, did you have to add the, tra the chair rail thing up there or that was there? The chair rail was there and there was mm -hmm. some old water... Um, uh, Wallpaper. wallpaper that has sort of watermarks on it and stuff. So we took that down. The water, the, the wallpaper was actually kind of pretty, but it was damaged. Right. So I painted that my favorite gray, which is silver chain, Benjamin Moore. Oh, and it's very pretty. It's kind of like, um, do you know Farron Ball paints? Yes, yes. It's kind of like lamp room a little yes, bit. Yes, you know? it is. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Dean, who was the former owner, he he did leave me some magnificent furniture. So really? this piece was left here. So the guy, the guy was here? Yes, yes. Wow. I mean, there were like, things that he just wow. could not get out of That's the so house. That's so interesting because I noticed that when we first walked in this room, I thought that's a beautiful piece. Well, it's so it, it's just amazing to me that you were in this house beforehand. The, and is that the original tile, or you redid that? No, this is an interesting story because he was really an interesting guy and loved this house and loved old things. The condos on the corner here, which are very seventies-ish, mm -hmm. I guess there was a grand old home there. Well, you know, all of Orange Grove was yeah. the estates, and, and they so were knocking that crazy. one down. Making so crazy. maybe in the seventies or uh -huh. whenever he got there. He went in and salvaged all those tiles from the fountain in the back of the house. And he wow. even gave me this little drawing that he did on graph paper of how he was going to lay it all out. Oh, you can't duplicate this. No. You know, it's so gorgeous. So we're getting, so to balance the room, I have another sizal coming here. And I'm going to have a big, I have a frame and I'm going to have the uh, glass guys come and put a mirror in it. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll really make this to me, even though right. I do sit here once in a while. But we just did this on Saturday, so I'm just kind of getting used to it. Right. Um, Beautiful, but this space is great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I really love that. The, Mr. Lanzetti did that. I bought that yeah. sofa at the Huntington Collection, uh -huh. and he refinished it for me. Oh, I love it. And the chairs, too. They walked in, and I, you know, you have to wait for them to uh -huh. get appraised or whatever. Mm -hmm. I would not leave the chairs. I was like, I'll just stay with the chairs yeah. until the man comes over, part. and he puts the bright did he do, was the or, Were these columns okay. original, and was, was yes. the tin ceiling original? The, the tin ceiling, I understand, is not original to but the But was here when you got but it was here when I got it, but it was gray, silver gray. Um, and the way you can tell is because there are Phillips head screws oh. holding it in. And someone told me Phillips head screws were not invented oh, until sometime in the 30s. So I, I thought that was that. so interesting. Yeah. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah. I love it. Really, I should be a docent. I really. I know, right? <laughs> I really, really love architecture. It's my window. So this was not original to the house. He mm -hmm. made this little bump out. And it's I, nice, though. It gives it more depth. You know, yeah, it, it is nice. And I really didn't know. My husband, who is not a designer, but is really pretty good with furniture placement. Uh -huh. He's like, we should put, because I bought this love seat to go over there. And he's like, I think we should put it there. Right. And it turns out, so this is the spot everybody sits. Right. The dog sits there. My girls get yeah. home from school. Of course, right. I have to check their Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And that's where right. they do it. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's actually nice, kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. This is a funny story. Um, I was with a client, because I do some design work mm -hmm. with, you know, not just the, off my blog with actual mm -hmm. real people. Uh -huh. And so we were driving to go to this special furniture store that we were going to go to. And so I bought this thing. Of course, it had to be all re-wired sure, sure. and uh -huh. checked and everything like that. But it was a very good price. Mm -hmm. And then he delivered it wearing tails. And now my house, we were in this room, basically living in this room. My husband and I were sleeping on the pullout in the living room. The girls were on mattresses on the floor. We had a dorm-sized fridge, right. microwave, because right. we lived right. in during the entire uh -huh. process. And he arrives with his helper, and they had this thing over their right, right, shoulders. Right. And he comes in, and just, he looked like Captain Stubing, but like yeah. he had fallen off the yeah, ship, yeah, yeah, and right. then they pulled him back up. Right. <laughs> and that's not in a box for like a year before so we were ready perfect. to put it up. So perfect. I love your um, fabric here, too. Oh, thank you. So These pretty. chairs we found in the barn, and so I kept pulling so them out. So he left a lot of stuff here. He did leave a lot of stuff. But he took a ton of stuff too, including the seven cars and pieces that were yeah. out there and God all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the things he was very kind and left. Um, this table is from a Girl Scout yard sale. Thank you, it. Girl Scouts. That was mm -hmm. the deal of the century. Yeah, I love it. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then um, the grain sack I got at the Rose Bowl. And you Mr. Cut here. My gosh, it's so, I, oh my gosh, the treasures you got. I it's know. So, it's so nice that you have reworked them to stay here and be part of the history yeah. of the house. So we painted it. Obviously, yeah. we used, I don't know how many gallons of white paint, but it, he had 
had it over there. And then, yeah, this is to, like uh, this is the velvet finish, which is mm -hmm. kind of like a satin, right. you know. What white? I know you guys are you and your friends are into. Oh uh, yeah, really into paint colors. colors. Paint, paint colors. What, yes. Well, is this? this is my favorite white. This is um, simply white by Benjamin Moore, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it, that's is that what you use everything here? Everywhere. And the walls and the trim is The walls and trim and the outside of the house. Oh, it's all simply white. All simply oh, white. Yeah. Good to know. So I just so use it's a, a good, it's a good white. It's a warm white. It's a great white. And yeah. it's not too, doesn't get too yellowy. And yellow. I don't like the blue ones. I don't want a cold white. So this kitchen is amazing. I, I really, so beautiful. So what was, what was here? How was oh, it? Oh, this out? was bad. And I'll, you know, I'll send Mandy some pictures. But you know, it became, it's very sweet. And it was a, Functional kitchen for him. He had like one of those little movable islands here. He had a giant, which I think must have been like one of the original Sub Zeros. So the thing was huge. Like you could have put in a dinosaur carcass in there. Huge, and it acted kind of as a wall. And everything was brown. And there was a sink that dripped. And he had one of those sort of bump out windows, right. like those greenhouses. Yeah. Uh huh. And then tile countertops. Right. And. I swear, a jar of granola that moved. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. it was just the whole right. kitchen. And right. the best thing was, well, this, he left me the stove. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, but what was here, wow. the shiplap wasn't here. So there was, you know, it was you just. You put that up. Yeah, it was it's just so brown. I didn't even remember if it had wallpaper. It was just brown. And what kind of wood do you use to do that? Is it just like a. It's just regular wood. You can. You can go to the expense of having it sort of, it's not really a bevel, but it's right. on an angle. Yes, uh huh. And that's more tongue and groove. Right. Okay, so that costs you a little bit more, but all you need to do is get regular thin planks, six by like maybe one. Uh -huh. And what's a great thing to use is Those a are separator. that six inches? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And then. Like a child separator? Yes, but you know what's great is the stirs that you get for free with the paint because they're long. Oh, the sticks. And you just put the sticks in and then move the stick over. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then you just paint and then it kind of fills it in. Yeah, with yeah. And then, you know, because I like the, the, the look of me it too. being more rustic, me you know, too. the painters were like, so now you want me you want to, to fill it? Oh, no, I'm like, now. no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. So Dean had a fire extinguisher next to her, which made me really afraid of this stove. I thought, oh my God. And plus, when you look at it, you think, this is like flying a plane. So I was like, oh, I don't really know. In fact, I have a, an O'Keefe and Merritt outside that I had bought. I thought I was going to use if anybody wants it. <laughs> does it work well? Oh, it does. It works beautifully. We did have um, some experts come in, this really nice family company called Antique Stove Heaven. Oh, yeah. I used it. Okay. So uh, they came and they took it away for 18 weeks. Wow. And they take the whole thing apart, um, like it's a puzzle, and then they clean everything, and they put it back, and then they, you know, they made it so you didn't need a fire extinguisher, you know, so they, they changed all the, you know, the bits and bobs, so right. it really works. And really, <laughs> all you do is do this, you hear it go, yeah. and there oh you go. Oh my gosh, I love Super it. Super easy. And my, the, the first review I got on my first batch of cookies, which was, that was my girl's favorite thing that I made, they tasted okay. even better in the stove. So there you go. So amazing. I had a big um, uh, O'Keefe mirror that looked just like this. It looked, I mean, it was this shape. Right. Know, it was that big type. And uh, it came with the house that I had bought too. It was really fun. And then when I was selling the house, I wanted to keep it. And it was, became a deal breaker with the guy. This was built in 1924, mm -hmm. this stove. What year was this house built? 1886. So he bought this. I don't know how he found out about it. Like, you know, the Craigslist in 1970s. So it didn't exist or whatever. But some little old lady on the west side was selling this. So he went over and bought it. And she had the original manual. I have a blog post on it. It's so sweet. And then correspondence that she had with the CEO of the Reliable Stove Company. She, I guess, went to some appliance expo or something and she was so excited in 1924 or 23 and she's going to get this new stuff and it had a red star on it like you know it's shit so the stove comes however long it takes it shows up no red star oh, she is not happy <laughs> so she types on onion skin paper this letter to this man to the reliable stove company saying hey you know what's with what i want i bought the one with the star on it and then she's got the response from this man that actually they upgraded the model and she's gotten the better model, but if you should, we will send someone out to paint the star on if that's what you'd like, blah, 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 blah. But it's so sweet, right. it's dated 1924. And he had it in like a plastic sleeve for me. Yeah. So I have all that what stuff. this section right here? Well, he had the, the gigantic fridge here mm -hmm. and then this wall came out a little bit further, I think. So there was kind of this little opening with little 
tattered curtain. And then there was out here to wash and dryer here. Oh, uh, so the service porch. And um, shelves with lots of work clothes and got like a zillion cans of beans and stuff like that. Just in case. Referring to the case. Case. apocalypse. Yeah. We were ready. Right. Uh -huh. And then like brooms and stuff. So this this was in the back of the fridge. Which sort of, and then the more just little shelves and just stuff, like mm -hmm. shovels and mm -hmm. brooms and things right. like that. And then there was this sad little door that just kind of hung out. It was like you'd open it and it kind of like fall out. Mm -hmm. And a couple little steps down to the junkyard. The, <laughs> the yard designed by Fred Stanford. Right, right, yeah, right. Was this is beautiful. And you said it's a local artisan that built this Yes, place. he's actually, it's called Hollywood Ironworks. And they do a lot of work for the film industry. Mm -hmm. And he also used to make the frames for the Rose Bowl mm -hmm. parade floats. Right, oh, right. And I was looking at it. So many pins on Pinterest with right. these factory doors. I love right. the ones at Mike and Anne's. I right. just love yes, them from yes. New York. Yes, you know? So I, I found someone, I was dying to find someone to do it. And there's a company that like Torrance Doors or something, and they're famous for doing them, but they're so expensive. Mm -hmm. So I was just looking locally and I found this guy, Matt, yeah. and he came and it took a long time, but and each piece of glass had to be cut because each one to fit right. in the space right, right. is a little slightly different yeah, yeah, right. and grouted and all oh, that. Don't you love that? I love these doors. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Did you have to do all new electrical and plumbing? And yeah, that? and even if he didn't have to replace it, it all had to be checked. And right. Everything was just so old and it right. really, he and didn't really, have the money to right. keep it up. So you didn't really know. You didn't want to slap something on top of it without checking everything out. Right. Yeah, but he did do a pretty good job of keeping those things going. So what, now, what about this? You added this. Okay, yeah. So we added, this was just plain ceiling. And I just, because I was doing so much white, I felt like I needed some, some interest and yeah. texture. So I said, well, let's do this planking. And I found these, there's sets that come from Lowe's. And it's called, it's like Everwhere. Or ever, it's not ever ready. It's everywhere. I have it. I can get you the information. But they're a like eleven dollars, and it covers like a, a really incredible amount of square footage. Like I think my entire bedroom ceiling we did for like a hundred and twenty dollars. Really? Yeah. Wow. And so, do you do the same thing where you put the little paint um, stir sticks to do it, or they are they kind of snap into they each other? They kind of they're just pieces of wood, but you didn't have to do that because they have like a slight angle on the uh -huh. edge of them, uh -huh. so they didn't even have to work with the separator. Mm -hmm. What's so nice too is you know this kind of thing was so this period of house. Yeah, right. yeah. Beautiful. I love well, that. originally the entire house, from what I understand, all the woodwork was painted forest green. Really, all the trim, and then he stripped it all down. And then when he stripped it, it was very orange, mm -hmm. and the wood didn't really match. Was there like red wood or something? Yeah, you know what? Or mahogany I, or something. Something. Not, not not a nice wood. Right. And different kinds of wood because these are a truly amazing. Right? Yeah, those are fabulous. The, um, because of what I understood, the Victorians, if they didn't have a whole ton of money, and they were, they, so they didn't use a really great wood, they were going to use paint great wood. So they were always going to paint it. Mm -hmm. But he mm -hmm. didn't want to paint, he liked wood. Right, but it was wrong. But it wasn't great wood. Right. Like, and all, like, almost every step was different. Oh, yeah. Wood. Funny. Well, this um, looks great, and I love you don't do a carpet. It's so great. No, I did. I was going to do a runner, and then I thought, well, maybe for safety, but I kind of like the way it is, and I it's too easy to clean, but this is interesting. Is that original? This is a Dean original. I don't know that it's original to the house house, but she like, oh, sits fun. on a cork, and she just sits in here. Isn't that great? And then I put this on Instagram, I think, and somebody said to me, that is symbolic of having your house paid off. That this was something that was done in the Victorian era. That it's actually called like. Um, so that's so cool. Yeah, and th sometimes they would have like a little plaque here, a little something that would say, and having this, which I call the Lady of the Staircase, on here would be an indication that your house was paid off. And then of course the few other people responded like, well. That's not really true, blah, blah, blah. but anyway, I kind of like that story. Yeah. yeah, and she's a great night. Like, at first, yes. I thought, oh, that's a little over the top. I don't think I'd do it. But how can I get rid of her? Yeah, it's so So fun. she stays. I love it. were created by Dean and his wife oh in God. 1973. DP. Yeah, so she's an artist, and um, he was whatever he was, various. Uh, he had a lot of reincarnations, I think, of his career, and they made these. And I, again, I thought, they're kind of craftsman-y, right. like, I'm right. not sure. Right. But how could you not I keep know. them? Yeah. And I love the way the sun comes through. Mm -hmm. No, but these are from Mogwoods. I just realized my, my bulb is out. But yeah, those oh, are from Harry Star, aren't they? Really? Great. Yeah. I never saw them. They're so beautiful. 
Yeah, I think actually I was just lucky enough to be there when they came That's in. That's the way your stuff goes yeah. fast. So this is the girls' bathroom, and um, yeah, beautiful. It, well, I love all your use of brass. Thank you. Because that was not well, happening for a while. Now it's bad. Yeah. Well, I those are not um, the unlacquered brass because you see what's different about that sink, right? It's the kind that's it's called pillars. It's separate, hot water and cold water, because that's right. the way the sink was. So that's the original sink to the house, uh -huh. and we had it redone. It's getting my girls have yeah, yeah, yeah. been a little brutal on it, so yeah, it yeah. needs to get redone again. Oh, so this is cool how you did this. So what, you just put like a, a thin coat on. Yeah. So okay. this is a white stain. Oh, cool. Which then I thought, oh, maybe it's a little too pink, but I kind of like it, just a little mm -hmm. bit different. And this is kind of a little bit of wasted space, and there was some gigantic dresser in there, and a huge armoire, which is now out in mm -hmm. the barn. So we just opened the door here, where there was a linen closet. So now this is my closet, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to show you because no, I threw all fine. my messy stuff in there. <laughs> when you was coming. And I don't get a good closet in an old house. It's yeah, well, there are no closets. Right. I mean, I don't know. Those girls have big dresses, but I guess they only have like one or two of them. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Or right. trunks. Or trunks, trunks yeah. right? Um, so it's kind of an awkward room. In did a you sense. create this? Uh, you know? Well, he had. Dean, there was a closet here with oh. those long mirrored sliding. Yes. You know, which is so Victorian. Right. So that was great. I yeah. really should have kept that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's got to go. Yeah, and yeah. he had his TV in here, right. and that was his closet. So we just jumped in there, took that space because otherwise you couldn't get a king size right. bed. And right. he had this bed over here, and it wasn't centered on the window, so I didn't want to live that way. So it is a little odd in that no, but you it, can't you have know, nightstands or anything, but, but it works. Peter has that little niche, and then I mm -hmm. have this little stool, right. and it works. Yeah. It's fine. You see, my husband's bedside table has so many stack, uh, like a stack of books that have grown this big. I'm like, really? Like, but he's, I mean, he's an avid reader, and he reads in bed. That's cool. But, right, right. Okay, and you I did it like it. I did, too. Like, you took a door that was here just added. Yeah, it. yeah. Like, yeah, I exactly. I, I do have to have the guy come and put a little silicone in there to, to match yeah. it up. But, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I actually did mine. I put it on the bottom, I think, but... Um, but yeah, it makes it. You can use the matching doors exactly because so we took so many doors off, and mm -hmm. there were so many doors just in the barn. So I wanted to use as many as possible. So mm -hmm. this and was. This is, did that did that iron guy make this for you? No, this is from Rustica Hardware, and mm -hmm. they actually sell this through Home Depot now. They're the same brand, and I just love that's actually called their Victorian model. And I thought, oh, I just love it. Yeah. Um, was it called Rustica? Rustica. Rustica. Yeah. Oh, really nice. So th then this became the master. So this was like the nursery or something. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> Right, so, so it's not, you know obviously not a huge room, but we packed in here. You know, no. just spent but you, but your need. your sense of a space is so great. How you you've worked with the space you have. You know, it's amazing. How you've done this. Well, I think the limited palette too really makes a difference. Reds, golds, right. and pops all I've been in all those phases. Yeah, yes. yeah. The jewel tones. The jewel tones. Like the eighties. Exactly. The tones good. The maybe it was nineties. Yeah, yeah. So and, then this, now, and now even I have a lot of colors. I mean, they're you know I have like the you, you know these colors because you know Fair and Ball, but the Charleston gray right. and the Lamp Room gray. Right. I have like those, and I, I mean, they're not you know they're kind of repeated. Yes. But still, when I redo someday, I'm going white. I think that's the way to go now. Anyway, is white. So More this fun. piece what came shiny, shiny, shiny brass. You know, like the '80s brass. Uh -huh. But I I'm really happy with it. You can see at the top. So that's where I'm talking about, like where it yes. looks like a kid with acne. And you're like, oh, and then yeah. but. The unlacquered really does take on a beautiful patina after a while. Was the whole piece uh, lacquered or not? The whole piece was came unlacquered, but when it comes, it's still that shiny. Yeah. It almost, yeah. it looks like yeah. polished brass. Right. But then it just starts to fade with the water and the air. Um, it's not a waterworks thing, is it? I mean, no, where's it from? that's Sigma. Sigma. Yeah. Cool. I'm really happy with that. The yeah. whole build with the top, <laughs> with the top, so and the sinks. Seriously. I'm telling you, I think the whole piece was like six hundred bucks. No way! I swear to God, I have to tell my friend this. Build, build.com. I wonder if I just got a magazine for that. Yeah, they send things in the I mail think too. I just got that the other day, mm -hmm. and I talked. They have great I tiles, all kinds of stuff. I can't. Yeah, just go on build.com. Right they have it. Build. I get it. I mean it. I, and I think they have it in like they have it in white, and they yeah. have it, but yeah, That's I was amazing. looking for. I had to be only sixty inches. I didn't want to have it too wide. I was gonna have it custom made, and then would you be a fortune? Such a fortune, because I mean, I love my kitchen cabinet guy, and that had to be all custom. Right. You could, can't just 
the way the that was all configured. Right. But something like this, right, worked out. Had a right. corner somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh Beautiful. my gosh! All I was doing was writing checks. So I know. It's right. <laughs> this is my younger daughter. This room. Sweet. And this was a guest room, I guess, mm -hmm. when the, uh, the other gentleman was here. Wow. So I we're getting the lights. Yeah. Perfect. So I did a metallic paint. It's a really a fun idea. And so just a little bit of something. Well, yeah. At night, it's really pretty because the chandelier sort of bounces the light around right. with the texture on I there. love that. I love things that reflect light and, you know, like your, your vases or yeah. your, your yeah. Uh, mercury glass. Exactly. Whatever. It makes such a difference. So, you know, we're still like, she needs some more stuff on the walls and stuff. But I just don't want to, so hard to make holes in the lathe and plaster. No kidding. Your hammer's bouncing off Bouncing off. So thing. I learned to, I feel it kind of sexy with my drill. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I know how to use it now, but still, yeah, sometimes it does. Doesn't work. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, I know. And you know, and all of a sudden you have a little dust. So, so we're gonna really Think make about sure it. Yeah. of what we want. So I have some ideas, but then she had other ideas, I which mm -hmm. I know. People I hate with opinions. The, I, I hate that. I know. I know. My husband always says he wants to uh, chime in. He has, he goes, I have no, some no good ideas. In. You're like, no, oh, no, no, do you have to have ideas? Exactly. Oh. Just let's. My so ideas are good. So is this uh, their kind of hangout, or this is this daughter's space? Yeah, pretty much. Well, there's you know, there's our what is Pier One? The rug. Some of the pillows, mm -hmm. the curtains, um, the standing mirror. Fun. And did you paint it silver? No, it came like oh, that. Oh, pretty. Yeah. So again, this one's still kind of a little bit in progress. It was, it had like a border, of sort of like a Navajo mm -hmm. yeah. thing going on. Uh -huh. You know, that border wallpaper. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. And then a lot of craftsman style furniture but not real stuff. Mm -hmm. And then a big roll top desk. Mm -hmm. And there was just a lot of yeah. stuff in here and it was super brown. Wow. <laughs> but I think for you, you know, it's you really, um, you know, you're the champion for him and here and I'm sure he was, it was smart to sell it to you and he probably knew you were going to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. All the things I, he couldn't I think, do. I think so. Yeah. He felt good about it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy to be just living here now. Huh? I love it. And we yeah. love the neighborhood. Yeah. It's a great it's a neighborhood. neighborhood. I love galvanized, and I'm always using that too. But that's well, so fun you to know paint. what? Did how, you see that? That's so how fun to expensive! Paint it. And so smart of you to notice. Most people don't even know what it is. No, They're I like, love it. either like that's a garbage can. So, no, it's so fun. So you just drilled holes in the bottom. I drilled holes in the bottom. Drill. Yeah, and these arborvitaes are loving it. I wasn't sure because it's so stinking hot back here. Right. Whether or not the metal was going to just roast the yeah. roots, but they've been doing well. Yeah, I know. And so in here, we're going to do raised beds. What a great piece of furniture, though. It's so huge, right? Uh, this is a, a white bean hyacinth for uh -huh. one seed. This right. thing went yes. crazy. Yes. But that's only an annual. But the jasmine's doing well, so that should grow in. And I'm going to continue that down to where the pavers are and uh -huh. then do a bed in front of that. Oh, so, wow. And then he had this chute that he created out of Jeez. plywood. <laughs> and he was just... <laughs> Throw this wow. stuff down or winch it up and drag it up and put it up there. The wildest thing. But I had a few pieces of antique furniture that I was not ready to part with and that I didn't want to sure. not you know not right. have anymore. Right. So my very kind uh, carpenter, he would bring his, bring his truck and get up on the hood of his car, of his truck, so you're higher, and we were putting stuff up there too. Wow. This is what my husband keeps saying, like, you and Dean have a yeah, 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 yeah. So, right. Did you have but just a painted concrete? Yeah, we sealed it, but with a matte sealer, so uh -huh. we can always yeah. make it a little shiny if we it. wanted to. But um, so there, it was funny because yeah, the, the gentleman, he's so nice. He's been with me since we started working here, and he's like, "So we're gonna paint these, right?" <laughs> I was like, "No." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> try not to chip many more yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. damage them. Yeah. <laughs> Does he, he do, thinks I'm slightly nuts. Does he do like construction and stuff or he just does handyman stuff? Yeah, yeah, he does everything. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, this is clearly a work in progress, so you might not want to use any of this. But. No, but if I, you know, I think work in progress are what's interesting. Okay. So, um, it's like, it was a German breakfast, but these were part of it. Oh, wow. So how gigantic could that thing have yeah, been? Right. These, I don't even know what they were supposed to do, but so, I mean, who, what place could, I'd be like a castle maybe, right, could have right. the thing be that high. So I didn't want to, what are you going to do with these? They're fantastic. So right. we built these little bases for them mm -hmm. and then attached them there. You have such a great sense And of that's stuff. the top of the altar. Wow, beautiful. 
And it looks so appropriate and so great. And then Dean says it wasn't even in this spot that somebody owned a, this tract of land and it was over a little bit and then sort of a brother or an uncle or whatever of that, oh, you take this acre or whatever and we're going to move this house over here so he says it was moved twice wow. but definitely amazing. moved once that amazing um for the corner you know on the corner of orange grove and holly mm -hmm. there's that victoria oh yeah and it was moved there and i my house i had that house at the time that kind of kitty cornered that okay and so i was like nursing my baby in the middle of the night and there was like the the trucks oh and the, the bleeping lights and the horns as they were placing right. it on oh that my spot. gosh it was very cool well i wonder like this was moved shortly after it was built so and there must have been no logs or something it must have been like yeah logs and horses and, i guess that yeah. was so crazy. It's crazy so but what i did here is this house this house and then the one next door which is now this crazy gigantic craftsman house was a little victorian originally oh. and that all these houses were for say the manager or the caretaker, maintenance, higher level maintenance people for the hotel from the Ninth oh, Circuit. Right. Because that was originally a right. hotel. The Royal something hotel. Right. Yeah. Wow. So this is probably pretty old, but maybe not as old as mine. Did did he put that uh, weather vane on? Yes, he did. did. And I guess he said, I said, Dean, it's a different year. And he oh, said, it's not, the house is not 1887? No, the house is actually 1886. <laughs> Rainbows, I hum a tune that sings like it does.